<laughs> and he literally has a combo that's just mash three. What the fuck? All right, we finally have Tekken 8's first DLC character, and it's none other than Eddie, who should just be base roster anyway. But before we can mash our way to victory with three and four, let's actually learn some stuff in practice mode. Vamos now. First off, do we still have sidestep three plus four? Yes, we do. Holy shit. Stop. Stop. Oh, hold on. I'll have to figure out the combos as I go. Is this a 13 frame punish? It did. Natural. Plus five into what? That forces crouch, it has to do something. Yeah, that has to do something. Hold on. That's one option, down for one three. Okay. That's 15, but they're so far away from you. What are you supposed to do? Oh, scary kicks. Isn't there a weird pickup that Eddie could do in Tekken 7? Was it that? I don't remember what it was. So I guess you would just stop here after the first two hits. Because why put yourself at minus 12? Okay, forward 3 plus 4. You can gauge your holy shit. Oh, he doesn't do the janky leg thing anymore when you're backdashing. Ah, uh, that the sucks. Damn, that has reach. Wait, did they change the buttons? That, this wasn't a 4, 3 plus 4 before. Or at least I don't remember it being that. Does it do something on counter yet? Shit. Didn't this nosebleed before? What the fuck is that? Hold on. Plus 21, but the opponent's on the other end of the world. What the fuck are you supposed to do with this? Okay, that's new. We don't have the infinites anymore, no! That sucks. I wonder if it still gives the... the unscaled damage like it did in Tekken 7. Pretty sure this was the move. Ah, okay. So that's that's its purpose. There must be something there. I just don't know what it. Oh. Okay, so you automatically crouch from that. So what do you do with it? At minus five, what do you do with it? Yeah, I'm still minus five there. Hello, mid. Minus 13. And he's considered airborne. Ooh. Plus 12. Give me that twin blow. Plus 12. There's so far three moves that gave us plus 12 on hit. Counter hit 1 plus 2. Oh, that's gonna be kind of sick once I figure out the actual proper combo. But minus 14. So after all this time, Kazuya's back two is still gonna be like kind of nice against this. Because of the low hitbox, you're gonna hit Eddie out of negativa as usual. Hey. So that's the new forward forward. Wasn't this forward forward three before? But holy shit. Power crush, heat engager. The high, is it safe? Of course it's safe. Minus seven. That's gonna be annoying. Oh, st that's not even a counter hit. That's just his wild standing two that does that. Holy shit. Into the low. Whoa, hold the fuck on. Dead combos. What the shit? Dang! Dang! 
That doesn't sweep. Does it need clean hit? Ah, okay. So Negativa 3 3 needs clean hit. Is that guaranteed? I think it might be. Just smash. Wait, he doesn't have the short combo anymore. Or does he? Yeah, he doesn't have the short combo anymore. Wait, I think. Oh, yeah, I think that was up for with three plus four, and then you would get the ending of this combo. Or maybe it was. No, it was off this. Yeah, it's gone. What the fuck? Evasive. How to hit launcher? Okay. I just don't know what the combos are yet, but holy shit. Oh my god, that's what it's for. Holy shit. Which is the other one that leaves you plus 12. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Yeah, that's what it's for! Holy shit! Yeah, I thought as much that plus 12 did something, it's that. Oh god. Well, that's all the moves. Let's try and figure out combos. So you want to be ending with down back 4-4 four, four, so, so you build a level. Okay. He <laughs> and he literally has a combo that's just mash 3. What the fuck? Look at this. Oh my god. Okay, so I've been messing around with Eddie for a, a while at this point. Let's go through some of his punishers, some of his good moves i guess and some basics for his combos let's start with the punishers because those will be faster to get through so for 10 and 11 frame we have one three takes you into negativa at, i think it's plus seven yeah pretty decent for 12 and some 13 frames you're going to use two three takes you into handstand at plus eight pretty nice as well uh, there are some cases though like for example kazuya is forward three it pushes you back even though Kaz is minus 13 all you're gonna get is a standing four. For 14 frame and some 13 frames as well, you're gonna use down forward one three. Pretty damn good. I don't know if this actually... I don't know if that's guaranteed or not. You can do it, but I... I don't know if the forward forward four is guaranteed. And 15 frame, easy option is just down forward three. As for his while standing punishes, for the most part, you're just gonna be using while standing four four. Well, not two them. Just while standing four four. Even if something is minus 14, because this is a high, you're while standing one. In combos that picks up, someone that's close to the floor, but this is probably going to go over your opponent's head most of the time if you're trying to punish with that. Also, if something is launch punishable, like a hull sweep or something, just while standing two into massive damage. Let's go through some of Eddie's good moves now. Jab, obviously, is really good. You also have one, two. These do have extensions like one, two, four, and stuff, but just be careful with these because I think only on counter hit you get one, two, four, four. No, not even there. Yeah. Yeah, if your opponent is trying to push buttons on hit, you get one, two, four, four. But if they blocked it, any of your extensions, be it one, two, four, one, two, four, four, one, two, four, three, if you try to do that on your opponent's block, they can float you out of it with a jab. All of your options lose. 1-3 into negativa, obviously, but be careful with this because it is... Ah, uh, how do I get caught to block this? Yeah, minus 14. Kinda sucks. 2-3, obviously, your 12 frame punished. Pretty damn good, shifts you into Bananera or Handstand Stance at plus 8, but on block you are minus 8. And uh, most of your options will actually lose there. 
Now, if you delay slightly, your opponent's jab should whiff. Should give you enough time to use a handstand four, but for the most part, yeah, all of your options are gonna lose. 3-3 three, three as well is pretty damn decent. Takes you into handstand at minus three. Uh, I can't remember if this is... Yeah, on counter hit, you get the plus eight. So it becomes natural on counter hit for the plus eight. Pretty damn good. 4-4, four, four, really good 13 frame mid. Double mid, actually. Heat engager. Especially on counter hit. It's also your keep out move. So it's perfect if you catch someone trying to do something. Just immediately go into heat. Really nice move. Now, I do want to mention down back 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 2. Down back 1 plus 2 is your backswing blow. Which guarantees a goddamn throw, by the way. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, give me the down back 1 plus 2, goddammit. Yeah, look at that. Holy shit. And that is a heat engage as well, by the way. Uh, same thing with 1 plus 2, but 1 plus 2 actually needs the counter hit just to work. Oh, shit. Yeah, so on counter hit, you get the guaranteed throw. Next, we have forward 3 plus 4. Really good heat engage, I must say. It's like goddamn demon, Paul. Look at this. Look at the range on this dude. <laughs> and it's a mid. And you consider it airborne because of the damn thing. It's really good, I would say. Okay, we also have forward three. Really good, plus seven on hit, homing high. Minus five on block only. Natural follow up, three, four. So it's forward three, four. Really decent for what it is. Down forward one, obviously pretty damn good. Only minus three on block as well. Plus six on hit. Natural. Down forward one, three. Can be ducked, so be careful. Down forward three, your 15 frame launcher, obviously, and it's going to be very unsafe. You, you may die if you're just throwing that out randomly. That's give you pretty decent damage, though. Yeah, 76. Down forward 4 is okay. It has some reach to it, but it is unsafe. This is minus 13. Yep. Then, of course, we have down 4. This move is just really good. It's minus 5 on hit. Minus 13 if you do the extension. However, counter hit is what you're looking for with that. Because this move is insane on counter hit. Oh, can I not get the grab? What is happening? Hey, look at that. It's damn near combo damage. Next, we have down back 4-4. Four, four. Really good move. Gives you one of uh, Eddie's new Mandinga charges. I think that's what they're called. But it's mid-high. So if your opponent blocks the first hit, they can duck the second one, but both are safe. Minus 8 and minus 9. Uh, it does kind of suck we don't have the, the infinite anymore. If you delay slightly, you can kind of get it, but... Yeah, but I missed the infinite. Uh, back to... Yeah, back to 3-3. Three, three. That's your wall ender. You don't really want to be using this out in the open, though. Could, I guess, use back to 3, but... It's your wall ender. Back 3-3. Three, three. Pretty decent for what it is. The minus 14 kind of sucks. But second hit launches on normal hit. And on counter hit, you get both hits. I dropped the combo, god damn it. Again, leads to some okay damage. Back three plus four. I'm so sure that was Eddie's forward forward three in Tekken 7, but back three plus four, holy shit. This is a 20 frame power crush. Heat engager. It is a high, though. It, it, I guess it needs a downside somewhere. But holy shit, does this move have range? And by the way, it is safe. Yeah, that's gotta be annoying. So up forward two. I'm not entirely sure if this is guaranteed. It seems to be. So you can do up forward two, forward three plus four. 
Up one plus two. This bow. Holy shit. So cool. 16 frame to 17 frame. Launches on normal hit. Low crushes, as you can see. This combo as well, I think, leads to some of the damage. Yep. I did the wrong thing, but yeah, you get the point. Up forward four. This is such a cool move. Plus 12 into negativa. Look at that. On block, you don't actually get the negativa, which sucks, but it is safe. And I mean, it's a homing mid. It's still pretty good overall, I would say. Forward forward three. Holy shit. Does move. Plus six on normal hit. You can see Eddie kind of evades quite a bit there. But once again, counter hit into guaranteed throw. Holy shit, Eddie. Has, it's, that's just going to be a nightmare to deal with. Uh, while standing three is kind of slow. Auto bounds on hit, but it's, a, it's okay, I guess. It does have some reach to it. Uh, while standing... 1-3, I think it is. Yeah. Launches on normal hit. And while standing 2, launches on hit as well. Pretty damn good moves overall. And now we get to the fun one. While standing 3 plus 4. Did you see what just happened there? Because of Eddie's idle animation not actually being idle, while standing... I mean, sorry, not while standing. Sidestep 3 plus 4 is, has always just been a good move, regardless. But because of him moving around, his idle animation not being as idle, there's a chance for the first hit to whiff. And I think they've made this double high now as well. So there's a chance your opponent can duck this. I don't think I'm, it's going to happen often. I don't even think you're going to whiff the first hit often. But it can happen pretty damn random, like right there. So it is kind of, I think it's a slight distance thing as well as Eddie's idle animation as, as well. Him just moving around like that. You may whiff one of the hits. Usually going to be the first one because the second one launches, obviously. But yeah, that does kind of suck. Uh, what also sucks is depending on which way you've stepped. So either step left into side, well, into 3 plus 4 or step right into 3 plus 4. Your combo actually changes, which kind of sucks. So, the, so some of Eddie's weirdness with these combos is still exists. Also, it is safe on block, if I remember right, but it's it's a high now, I guess. <laughs> now it's time to get to his stances. Handstand. Handstand 1 is okay, but I feel like handstand 2 is slightly better. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's faster. They're both meds. One takes you into negative, up, one does not, but... I still think handstand 2 is slightly the better option. It's minus 8 on block, if I remember right. It's plus 8 on hit. Uh, does have the extension 3, which gives you one of the charges. That's minus 13 on block. But natural, at least. Handstand 3, 3, 3 is okay-ish. Minus 5 into negativa. Or plus eight if you just do the first two. It's it's okay. Uh, handstand four is probably just like the best move you have in handstand all the time. Minus three. Plus ten on hit. You tend to just harass people with this and then it has the follow-up. So it's four two minus thirteen you saw there. But natural on hit. It also bounds the opponent, although I just I don't know, I have not seen that bound being used. I, I, I guess you could use it there, but it's... I, I don't know, it's just weird. Maybe from this. Yeah, the, the timing on this is weird. It's very weird. Yeah, so I guess you could use it like that if you wanted to. It's kind of a weird combo to do, though. Then we have handstand 1 plus 2, power crush. What more needs to be said there? It is minus 12 on block though, but it's it's a power crush. It's something. Handstand back 3. I have a feeling you're going to get hit out of this by some moves sometimes, but it does have some evasion to it. So I guess it's going to have its uses. 
but I, I just have a feeling you're going to get smacked out of them at some point. And we have Negativa. Negativa 1. You just saw that there. Doesn't really have the best range. On hit, it is neutral. Uh, on block, it's minus 11. You do have Negativa 1, 3, and 1, 4. I, no, no, it's 1, 3. I wrote 1, 4 down on this page by accident. <laughs> uh, it's not as good. That is minus 14. Negativa 2. Really good. Plus 8 on hit, you have 2, 4. You saw that. Plus 2. However, if you hold down, you go back into negativa at plus 10. Really good. It does have a, a third a third move to it. Negativa 2, 4, 4. But that's minus 14. I think on block as well. So if the opponent blocks that, let me just let me pull it up. Why right don't I just set block all? I'm pretty sure it's plus 3. Yeah, that by itself is minus two, minus five, but if you go into negativa, it's, yeah, plus three. So you might as well just always end this as two, four into negativa. Negativa three, three, 16 frame. This is basically a hell sweep. However, it does need clean hit. So if we hear, where's actually the range? Yeah, you see that it doesn't give you the sweep if you're too far away because of the distance thing. You need clean hit for that to sweep the opponent. Negativa 4-3. Heat engage a natural. That's actually really good. It has some okay range to it. And that's essentially your mix from Negativa is, am I going mid or am I going for the sweep? Sweep is minus four on hit, by the way. Oh, that's basically it. That's your mix from negativa. It's 3-3 or 4-3. Also, for when you're feeling kind of lucky, you can uh, you can do negativa 3 plus 4. It's a launcher. It does lead to good damage. But again, since it's a launcher, you're going to be launch punishable for that shit. Leads to some really good damage, though. Now we have the... Mandinga thing. Uh, let me set Kazia to actually stand and approach here because he's going to be too far away. So when you have at least one of these charges, all you get are two moves in handstand, but they're, they are still really good moves. So you get handstand back four. I think this one, yeah, this one takes you into negativa if you hold it down. So it's, it's an okay move. But the better one I would say here is your... Handstand 3 plus 4. You now get a sweep from handstand. Holy shit, that is cool. Uh, when you have the second charge, though, this move now knocks down for plus 18. But I don't think you actually get the follow-up. Or maybe that's guaranteed. I'm not entirely sure. It's, it's pretty hard to actually tell. But then you also get that knockdown, which kind of sucks. So I think for the most part, just having one Mandinga charge is fine. Because why would you want that? That, that knockdown, that knock away like that, it, it's, it's not helping you for anything. So I think just being at one charge is, is fine. Like it should be. Because I mean, look at that, plus eight, and you're in, they're in front of you. And you can go plus eight into negativa with them in front of you. Plus four with them right in front of you. Yeah, I, th I think just having one one of the charges should be fine for the most part. Now we get to combos. So some important stuff for your combos would be back one while standing one four, while standing one three, because that takes you into negativa. And back 3-3, three, three, because that also takes you into Negativa. From Negativa, you get Negativa 2. You, you, you use that in your combos as well. I showed a few like, slight examples of it there. And also, Coral Circle Forward 3. Which is basically your while standing 3, but you just do it from Coral Circle Forward. Uh, all of those are super good for your combos, or... Uh, you could launch your opponent and just start mashing 3. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't recommend that though. Like that's just kind of lazy, I guess. Like I, I really don't recommend it. Of course, back two, three, three is your wall ender. And I guess you can do that if you just want the charge. <laughs> now I'm not going to go through like showing every combo here more so because it's still early on we don't really know full optimized combos for eddie and stuff uh, but i'll i will give you like a few examples showing you like the idea of how eddie's combos work so for example instead of just doing down three and then mashing three i mean this isn't awful as a combo 62 but you could just do back three three two back one I'm just trying to say the combo as I'm doing it. It's just kind of, it's kind of ass. But then again, I'm too lazy to put the notations on screen. So it's, it's down forward three launcher into back three three negativa two and then back one. Back one puts you in crouch. From crouch you'll do while standing one four. And this is where you do your quarter circle forward three. Now, that might not look like a lot of damage. It's 57. The other combo gave us, what was that, 62, I think, from just mashing three. Yeah, 62. However, back to 3-3. Three, three. Suddenly, we have 76 damage. So it's much better to actually learn the combo for Eddie. Well, stuff that you can do with Eddie's combos. Especially your back one, you're putting you into crouch, your back three, three, putting you into negativa. I feel those are pretty important for Eddie's combos. One thing that I do, I kind of don't like, is the fact that one, two, four, three, I cannot find a use for it in combos. I'm pretty sure in Tekken 7 we had a combo that used this because it would take us into negativa as well. Uh, some of other, what are some of the other Eddie combos that I was working on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you do your wild standing two, uh, you could just do the mashing threes again, but this sometimes does whiff. It's, it's odd, but there's a chance that that'll whiff. 65 damage. Or you can do up forward four. Look at that nice spin we get from that. And it puts us in negativa. Negativa two. Back one. 80 damage. Really good. So it is better to actually kind of learn Eddie's combos just a little bit. They aren't super difficult until you get to the shit. <laughs> this is where things get complicated. So why I'm saying this is complicated, depending on which way you, you step for the sidestep three plus four, your combo actually changes. So here, for example, you are in crouch. So if I do that, right, while standing one, three, and I do two. The follow-up from that is not going to work. Yeah, look at that, it whiffs. But if I sidestep left and do the exact same thing. It works. So if you sidestep left into sidestep three plus four. You're going to do while standing one three. Ah, that part of that ending part is just really awful to land. See if I can just do the full combo again. Shit! Go into negative up and then do 3-3. Three, three. But for this side, well, let, let, let me show it this way first, right? Side step left. If we do that, right, that's while standing 1-4. Oh, God, this is, this is getting weird to explain at this point. Standing 1-4. Our follow-ups don't work properly. Oh, 
Like right there. It has a chance to whip. But it's more consistent if you do while standing 1-3 this way. But if we do while standing 1-3 from a sidestep right... Oh my god, this is getting so weird to explain. There, I showed it before. Our follow-ups don't work. Let's step left into 3 plus 4. We're doing 1-3. Like that. Forget the rest of the combo part there. I just want to show you that it works. However, if we sidestep to the right and do that, we're doing 1-4 as the follow-up. Pretty decent damage off that one. It's, it's just so hard. It's hard to actually explain it. I know what, what it's like in my head. I, I understand what I'm talking about, but try to fucking explain this shit. Sidestep left into three plus four. Sidestep right into three. Oh, well, yeah, I sidestepped wrong both times there, but you get, you get the point. This, this combo is just ass. The combos from sidestep three plus four are just ass. Because they, they change. But just remember, if you sidestep right, one four. If you sidestep left, one three. And then continue your combo from there, whatever combo you decide to do. But I think, what else were there for the combos? Oh yeah, you're down four with three. I think I showed this, but I'll just go over it again. If I have not. If you're down four with three, you're gonna do back three, three, two. Into the remainder of the combo. The ending part of that is actually pretty odd to land. I did land that once before, where you, you run up sidestep into up forward four. But if that's not going to work out for you, or if you think you aren't going to land it, just run up into negativa 3-3. Three, three. 69 damage. It is not bad at all. Also, you might be wondering how I have a 90 on the screen there. That is literally from a heat combo. Eddie's combos, for the most part, I haven't really found a way to go into heat mid-combo. Oh, uh, wait, no, there was one exception to that, actually. Uh, let me reproduce. So, remember, your back 3-3 three, three launches on second hit. But the combo is just weird to do from there. So you can't just immediately bound the opponent. Sidestep left. You get 58. But the sidestep left part of that into your back 1... It's because you can actually get the heat burst more consistently from that. So I'll show you without the sidestep. Oh my god, this combo is so ass. I'm getting mixed. I'm mixing myself with this. Yeah, because see, that shit doesn't work. So right here, if we just dash up and do this, the heat burst does not work. So we need that sidestep left. Ah, wrong combo. Shit. I'm forward two instead. Yeah, see, with the sidestep left, you actually get that. And you can get 73 from it. It's okay if you just want to push for damage. I don't know if you want to use Eddie's heat like that. I mean, in heat, he only gets like that as a launcher, but that takes like a third of his bar. I don't think that's super useful for Eddie anyways. And the other one, I think, is what? Crossover forward four. This move kind of ass if it hits the opponent. It's better if, you, if they actually block it. So in terms of his heat, you could save it for that stuff. Or you could just do that combo I just showed you there with. Oh, God damn it. Gonna take me a while to remember this shit. You could use your heat that way to get a bit more damage out of a very awkward combo, I guess. Oh yeah, and then your wild standing two. The combo from this, again, you could just be mashing three constantly. Right, but I want you to pay attention to this. That's 64. Just from the mashing three. I showed you 80 before, I think, when I yeah, when I did it before. 
I missed the dash up. No. Oh my god. There we go. So with that sidestep left, it's to make the rest of that more consistent because whenever you do the up forward four on hit, Eddie kind of rolls to his right. So with that, that sidestep left just kind of makes the negativa three three a bit more consistent at landing and it gives you 78 to 79 if there's a wall. You're far better as a combo, I would say, than just mashing three. Although again, you could just mash three in like your first combo or something. To get a why it didn't give me the combo. What the fuck just happened there? Literally mashing and I failed. How? You could probably just do that just to get your one charge so that you have your mix up in handstand. But for the most part, that's kind of like the basics for Eddie's combos. It's going into negative us somehow. Either through your back three three into two. So that you can use the two to get you just enough distance and height for the back one to land. Back one puts you into crouch. From crouch, you can do your while standing moves. And then of course, your quarter circle forward three for the bound. Now that 90 that I have there, I've, I've managed to push like 80 with Eddie. So I think it was 82, 83 with some of his combos. The 90 is actually coming from a heat dash combo. If I can remember how I did it. Hold on. Oh, I dropped it. What the fuck? Only when I'm recording must I drop everything. So that I have three hours of video to edit through. Here we go. Into 90. So that's like the only combo I kind of figured out that deals some damage there. Because again, that's not natural. So how are you going to use that? This, I don't think that leads into a very damaging combo. Unless, yeah. This just does not lead into a damaging combo. That's kind of negative. Uh, nope. Yeah, that's not, that's not a super damaging combo from this. Yeah, you're getting less damage from that kind of a combo. There must be something else that I just don't know what it is. But yeah, that, that seems to just lead into a standard combo. What about uh, counter hit 4-4? Four, four. That gives a very odd, very odd bound. Oh, this looks like it's going to give a bit more damage. Yeah, 70. So like it, it, your best heat dash combo, I would say, is still going to be negative. At least from the looks of it of just a heat dash by itself maybe some more combo stuff will show up as time goes on i think i did the combo wrong i fucked it up as per usual but yeah that's been eddie <laughs> this is another hour that i've recorded for there's there was just a lot to go over with eddie like <laughs> he's got quite a bit of new stuff quite a bit of old stuff i'm kind of sad that the handstand helicopter kicks are gone that was that was so cool uh, slippery kicks don't seem to be yeah, as important on Eddie this time around as much as Negativa and, well, the Negativa mix-up. But also the fact that you can very smoothly transition between Handstand and Negativa in this game. You're going to be dancing around people if you can master Eddie. But again, there was there was just a lot of stuff to go over with his... The, the heat system, the... Well, his charge things, which seem super important, but they aren't as important as you might think beyond just getting the first charge. But they are once, uh, yeah, you need them 
every round, not once per round. You can gain them up to twice per round, but you have to get them every round if you want to use the handstand mix-up stuff. But again, yeah, there was there was just a lot with Eddie here. Holy shit. Uh, so if you if you liked, leave a like, dislike if you didn't. And with that, uh, it's time to go mash three with Eddie and ranked. I had to get it before I ended the video.